speaker today, Mr. Jerry Morgan. Mature age benefits. Mature age benefits. Jerry Morgan. I go to pay my bill at the restaurant. I walk up to the cashier. She smiles, does my ticket, and says, Sir, you have received a 20% discount, senior citizen discount. Imagine my shock. Do I look that old? <laughs> Is that a benefit that I've been waiting for all these years? I don't think so. And let me give you some more benefits of being a mature age. Besides food discounts, travel discounts, and your bank reduces your fees. I get to know my doctors. You notice I said doctors on a first name basis. Oh yeah. And I see them weekly. <laughs> I had to remodel my house because my medicine cabinet was <laughs> way too small for the pills that I take now. So are those the benefits that we all hope we get at this mature age? Not me. That's the last thing I look forward to. I once had a mentor. Who, who really instrumental in my life. And people weren't taking me seriously in my early career. And he looks at me and says, Jerry, there's one thing that's gonna happen as you age, and you'll get people's respect. They'll believe you, and you'll know when it happens. I said, you gotta tell me now. He says, it's when you start getting gray hair. <laughs> Well, I've accomplished that. So, I, fellow Toastmasters, welcome guest. I hope you believe what you're about to hear. The benefits after after living 60 years, and I can't say I have full 60 years of experience because probably the first 18, 20 years of my life, you know, I, I just went through it. I had fun, didn't pay attention. For my last 40 years, I, I gained a lot of wisdom. I also have a lot of life experiences. And now, I want to share those, and I have the time to share those. So those are the three benefits. The life experiences, the uh, wisdom that I've gathered all these years, and the time to share. Now, where do I get people who are interested in maybe what I've got to say? I searched long and hard. I found some captive audiences. I volunteer a lot. And if you volunteer for an organization, they love to have you come and, and, and provide your wares, so to speak. I've been fortunate to be a member of Junior Achievement for over 20 years. <clears throat> and in that, one of my venues is going into classrooms K through 12 and teaching kids on business and uh, communication skills. Uh, one example is this, is Washoe High School. These were kids that had had some trouble, weren't doing well in school, and they were given a kind of a second chance. And after meeting the kids, I understood they were missing one basic thing, the ability to communicate. What an opportunity. I get to use my Toastmaster skills of 14 years to teach these students how to, how to present themselves. After all, one of my life lessons has taught me, no matter what your profession is, communication is key to whatever you do in your life, in your profession, 
is essential. So I shared my knowledge with those students. And my benefit in that situation, I got to go with them and they officially went to other classrooms, middle schools, and presented what encouragement to those other kids about don't do what I've done. And it truthfully made me grateful that I was able to share that knowledge with them. They benefited from it. Another example is I go by many different sayings and one of my beliefs is don't ever, ever give up. And I had a client that he was building this house and he wanted the craziest things. And people would say, it can't be done. It can't be done. And I started listening to him. And I went to the client and said, can't be done. He looks at me and says, I want what I want. And I want the specific product. That meant that somebody had to design it. The end result of that, I took his words to heart. And I said, yes, I'll give you what you want. I had no idea how I was going to do that. But by not ever, ever giving up, I was able to provide him with exactly what he wanted and made believers out of all the designers that were around me. So, and I also believe that um, failure is part of, of life. And I've given students examples, if you fail, get back up. That's not the worst thing that could ever happen to you. Today, I want everybody to take away from this speech is that you can't take your wisdom with you. You can't take your life experiences with you. You have a limited amount of time in which to share those items. Take them and let others benefit from them. Mr. Contest Chair. Madam Primer, could we have one minute of silence for the judges? 